Just in time for Halloween, big spiders, there he is, spinning great big webs across North Georgia. An Emory Oxford College research team spent the day catching Joral spiders. Town 2's Baron Peterson was right with them in Newton County, and Baron, those things are very creepy, not kind of. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, this is uh, definitely the stuff that uh, nightmares are made of, but believe it or not, the Emory team <laughs> thinks these are the cutest things ever. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Went right in. College sophomore Eunice Kim is starting a bit of a collection. Oh my God, what is this freaky little creature? I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Yellow with a big red spot, eight legs, and as much as three or four inches from tip to tip. Should we be afraid? Are you a spider enthusiast? If you are, then don't be afraid. This is an interesting one because it's really red. Dr. Natalia Bayona is a professor of biology at Emory Oxford College in Newton County. On this day, she led a team of student researchers on a spider hunt, a Joro spider hunt, native to the Far East, now in North Georgia for over a decade. The introduction happened in 2014, and it has exploded since then. By the millions. One female lays 500 eggs. They're all over this campus. Big spiders, big webs. Bites are rare, but it feels like a bee sting. The good doctor is trying to figure out if this invasive species is disturbing the local ecosystem. DNA samples will be taken on each one they caught, and they caught a bunch. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this year's spider hunt. While Eunice treats them with affection, she says if you can't stomach them around your house, it's okay to take matters into your own hands. If you have the creepy crawlies, you're justified in doing But shh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of with that. Uh, here's another great big web. There's a couple of them in there. Now, the research will be published next spring. And I'm just wondering, uh, you guys want me to bring this back to the station for you? No. Uh, no, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh. You can keep it, Baron Peterson, but I will tell you, Wendy needs a, a collection like that because she's got Oof. a big one in her yard right now, I need now the... Too. Or she said... That's what we're going to do. Yeah, she's going to spray it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have more details for you now on the Jural Spiders. Researchers believe the spiders came to the U.S. in shipping containers. Newly hatched spiderlings travel a long distance through a process called balloon-catching rides on silk-like strands. Their long-term impact on the ecosystem, well, it's not yet clear. Those webs sure are beautiful, though. It's <laughs>